Hey guys, Dave the Watchman here coming at you with another watch review video. Um, I hope everybody out there is having a great day today. It is a beautiful sunny day here in sunny Florida and I hope everyone else is having a wonderful day wherever you are. Uh, today we have a package from Amazon Prime that showed up and it seems like it's got two watches in it. So I'm going to open this up and show you guys what's in the package and go over these watches for you. Um, before I get started though, I just wanted to say thank you again to all my current subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for everything you do. All your interaction with the channel helps out. All your liking, subscribing, uh, posting comments, asking questions. Uh, I couldn't be happier. If you do have any questions about any of these watches, I'm always willing to answer questions about them. So post those in the comments section below. If you are new to this channel, I am Dave the Watchman. I review budget-friendly watches for the everyman because I don't believe that you should have to spend a fortune to look like you have a fortune. And if you do like that concept, I would appreciate giving that thumbs up. Liking and subscribing always does help out the channel, uh, especially if you want to see more watches and watch review videos because that's what I do here at Dave the Watchman on YouTube and DaveTheWatchman.com where I showcase all of the watches I do review here and I provide affiliate links so you can head on over and pick them up and wear them for yourselves. If you are already a subscriber, I would appreciate if you check out that join button down in the corner there, see what membership options we do have available, especially if you want to help support this channel in real time. So without further ado, I'm going to get into what's in this package I just received from Amazon and we'll show you guys what's in the box. Okay, so this is a uh, watch called Guanho. Guanao? Guanho? Wanted to check it out. Um, looked really nice online. And we have a Casio here. <laughs> Casio looks a little bit beat up as far as the box is concerned. But we're going to take a look inside and see if the watch is actually okay. And if it's a nice watch. Um, once again, budget-friendly price range. So we're going to see if these watches are worth what they're charging for them. So out of these two watches, which one do we want to see first? Do we want to see if the Casio's in good condition? Or do we want to check out this Guano, Guanho watch? I think I'm curious about this one. Obviously, it is a Chinese-made watch. Um, but I'm very, very interested to see what's going on with this watch because it does look great online and i want to see if that matches so let's get into this one okay so upon opening it we've got the warranty card it's all in chinese um and the instruction booklet for the watch and let's see what we've got here it comes on a foam pillow alright and it's it's got some some tape around the uh, some plastic tape around the clasp here so I'm going to open that up overall the first impression that I'm getting on this watch is actually pretty decent I mean this is a pretty flush safety clasp on this thing um, there we go. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to say, overall, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Um, the funny thing about this watch is it does, it does say it's made in China, and it is a Chinese watch, but it is an automatic watch, and it does have a Japanese automatic movement. So, wow, that, that bezel actually feels pretty nice. This is a... This is a pretty nice watch, especially for the price range this thing's in. Um, you're not even going to believe it when I tell you what the price is on this thing. I mean, this is just a beautiful looking watch all around. Um, it's got that um, subdued matte finish on the bezel. It's a really nice, nice feeling to the click on the bezel. It doesn't have any back play on it. Really, really tight. Um, the rubber band does feel a little bit soft but it does have that um those raised areas to help for ventilation around the wrist um and this milled clasp is just it's it's really really nice it's got the um the name uh, uh etched inside um and it's also got a crown logo on there which resembles 
but not completely resembles the Olev's crown. Let me see if I've got an Olev's here to show you. Okay, so, okay, yeah. So we've got the Olev's here. There's the Olev's crown, and there's the Guanho crown. So it is similar, but not the same. Um, but all in all, really nice quality watch. It feels good, and the beautiful exhibition case on this thing, um, very, very nice. Um, let's see what, what it feels like when you wind it. Uh, it does have the screw-down crown. Um, so, unlocking it. It really is a nice a nice tight wind on this thing. It feels really, really smooth, very nice. The stem feels great. Um, it, it, it does have a lot of characteristics with a much higher end luxury watch brand. I won't mention the name of that watch brand, um, but if you know, you know. Um, it does have that um, basically like a Mercedes looking emblem on the uh, hour hand. Now some specs about this watch. It's 100 meters of water resistance, uh, chronometer, stainless steel, two-tone case, um, very, very smooth, nice milling. Um, it appears to have a screw down case back with the exhibition window. Um, but it is shock resistant and it does have that Japanese automatic movement so you know you have that reliability uh let's see what the loom capability is on this thing as i hold it up in front of the light here oh wow it's got blue loom and it's really nice loom capability on it so it's a great watch i mean it's very very well specced uh it's supposed to have a sapphire crystal it's got that that huge um huge cyclops above the date window it is the date format um wonderful watch uh let's see it's see it's okay it sets really smooth very very nice uh it doesn't feel loose or sloppy um and let's see what happens when you try to click it yeah see it doesn't even move when you when you when you push it in so very very nice tight uh movement on this thing really great quality i'm gonna to have to say thumbs up on this one this is really really good and you're not even gonna believe the price i mean right now you can pick this thing up on amazon for right around 80 bucks 80 bucks believe that or not and there's also i believe when i looked there is a coupon still available for this on amazon prime right now where you can save 10 percent off of that price so you can pick this thing up for about 70 uh, roughly in the 70 dollar range uh but once again guanho um 100 meters of water resistance chronometer uh dive watch um stainless steel two-tone black and gold um shock resistant japanese automatic movement um great loom capability and um the exhibition case beautiful beautiful exhibition case on this thing um very very nice so um very nice watch all around sapphire crystal you get a lot for your money on this watch so for 70 dollars, i would definitely recommend it it does have the milled trifold clasp with the safety which locks it in really really nice um just a very nice watch all around let's see how this thing feels i'm i'm curious to see how it feels on my on my wrist because it looks like it would be very very comfortable with that silicone bracelet um very nice uh very nice watch let's see what it feels like okay so obviously it has to be sized um and the sizing uh let's see how would you how would you go about sizing it um okay so the sizing would actually be done um like a micro adjust uh you'd have to actually pull the pin out and you'd size it with the side there so but all in all i'm gonna have to say this thing looks wonderful on the wrist feels great i could not recommend it more uh the guano 
Guan Hao or Guan Ho, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. If you guys know, please leave that in the description below. Um, and if you do have ex any experience with one of these watches, I'm curious to know how you guys like it. I think it's a wonderful watch. I think it's it's designed very, very nicely. Um, it's just, it's you get a lot for your money with this watch. So I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, if you're out there looking for a nice budget-friendly dive watch that looks really, really sharp and classy, you can't go wrong with this watch. So I will be posting a link to this in the description below. That is an affiliate link. Um, it does not change the price. You pay whatever the price is listed on Amazon. The only difference is if you do decide to buy it, I do get a small commission from the price and that is very very much appreciated so without further ado let's get into this casio and see what's going on with this see what's the deal with this box looks pretty rough so let's open it up and check it out okay so now casio these casios are kind of a hit or hit or miss i've had some that i've loved and i've had some that just kind of disappointed me to be honest with you so I picked this one out because it was kind of a really nice mix between real classy and, and sport. Um, but it was more on the classic side. And uh, you can really kind of see that it's got that classical look to it. Um, now this is extremely light is what I'm noticing right off, right off the bat. It's very, very light. Um, almost light enough to feel like it's cheap. Um, and let's see, what do we got going on here? All right, so it's it's a mix between an analog and a digital. Um, it's got a lot of different features on it, many alarms. This is the Casio Illuminator AW80D7A data bank. Um, this does boast a 10-year battery on this thing. Um, it does have the light-up case um, with the... Uh, with the light that comes from behind the, the dial there. Um, it is 50 meters of water resistance, so it's great for swimming and you don't have to worry about getting it wet. Um, it's 40 millimeter, it calls itself stainless steel, but it feels extremely, extremely light for stainless steel. Um, it's a smaller sized watch, like I said, 40 millimeters. It does have multiple alarms. Um, it has a mineral uh, crystal for extra scratch protection, and it's a very dependable Casio quartz movement. But you get a great value for the price on this watch. You're not even going to believe the price on this one. Um, this watch right now can be had on Amazon Prime right now for around 30 bucks. 30 bucks for this great looking classic looking watch i really do like the domed crystal on this thing the domed mineral crystal i love that silver dial on it um and it is very very light so you barely notice that you'd even have this thing on your wrist and and it does look very sharp you could wear this out dressed up um it's a very very nice mix between sport and luxury you can wear this out and um, it's just a wonderful looking watch and uh, if you're into the digital watches I myself not too into the digital watches um, but it does have a lot of digital options available there um, so uh, very great value for this watch just just like always Casio is a great great watch they they have let me down a couple of times but in this case i'm gonna have to say this is a great watch i would i'm definitely happy to have this one um in my hands this is just a wonderful watch uh once again it's got the stamped uh, stamped stainless steel uh, uh clasp with the safety on the side the push button safety um, it's very, very light. It, it does, it's, not, it's something you barely notice on your wrist, but you know that you have that good Casio quality when you've got this watch on. Um, very, very nice watch. Uh, like I said, it's the Casio Illuminator AW80D7A uh, data bank with a 10-year battery life and a light-up case with the great backlighting that comes from behind the dial. Uh, 40 millimeter stainless steel, 50 meters of water resistant, which is great for swimming. Uh, it it does boast multiple alarms. It is a very classic looking Casio watch with a great 
uh, cast, dependable Casio quartz movement and that mineral crystal for extra scratch protection. It's just a great value all around. And this price right now, like I said, $30 on Amazon Prime. I would definitely run on over and pick this one up. So basically, i got two watches here. I've got the Guanhao 100-meter water-resistant chronometer, stainless steel, two-tone black and gold, shock-resistant, with the Japanese automatic movement. Um, great loom capability. The exhibition case on the back. Sapphire crystal, 80 bucks, roughly 80 bucks on Amazon with a 10% coupon. If you run on over and take advantage of that right now, you can get this for somewhere in the neighborhood of 70. And then we've also got this Casio Illuminator AW80D7A data bank with 10 year battery life light up case, 40 millimeter stainless steel, 50 meters of water resistant, multiple alarms, mineral crystal for extra scratch protection, and dependable Casio quartz movement. Great value on both of these watches. I could not recommend either one of them more. So if you do like these watches, I will be posting affiliate links in the description below so you guys can head on over and pick them up and wear them for yourselves so until next time i am dave the watchman and like i said before if you are new to this channel i would definitely appreciate that thumbs up liking and subscribing always helps out the channel especially if you want to see more watches and watch review videos because that's what i do here at dave the watchman on youtube dave the watchman on rumble and davethewatchman.com where i showcase all of the watches i do review here and provide affiliate links so you guys can head on over and pick them up and wear them for yourselves and if you already are a subscriber i would appreciate you checking out that join button and see what membership options we do have available if you're interested in supporting the channel in real time that is much appreciated so until next time i am dave the watchman I review budget-friendly watches for the everyman, and I will see you guys all in the next watch review video. I hope you guys all have a great rest of the week. Thank you so much, and have a good day.